Hi, welcome to another tutorial about Arch Linux. I've been working on this virtual box. So we have the Arch Linux project and Arch Linux project has phases. And in phase five, we install the Arch Linux, so the archlinux.org. We download the ISO from June 2018, that's today. And what I did was I followed this tutorial number five or scroll all the way up. That's to say, I've done in VirtualBox a BIOS or a GRUB installation, not an EFI. That's another tutorial here. So I've just installed this one, updated it, a few typos out of it. And at the bottom, you go to the next step, which is number six. And here I had to edit a whole piece because of uh, Yahoot that is not available at this point in time. So we're using our own Arch Linux repo ISO for it. So you get your Yahoo and your package query to, uh, for instance, do PKSYUA. So that's updated as well. Step seven is then that you decide what to install. And I said, oh, Plasma is not there yet. So we need to make an installation of Plasma. Or KDE. So I'm writing this article right at this <coughs> point. So some things have been changed. We've already linked to the place to be. So the wiki of Arch Linux, this is everything you need to know about Plasma. And we're now at the phase that everything is black. So we've uh, installed LightDM service. Maybe a quick look again to the page. So last thing I did was this. So I'm just following my own guide here. That's the best thing to check if everything is okay. And next up is this, this code we need to type in and then we should have Plasma or KDE. I use prefer to use the word Plasma by the way. So you'll hear me say that. So sudo pacman minus s Plasma meta. And off we go. It wants to know what it is, what I want to do. Normally, I always take the default, so number one. Default number one. It's about one gigabyte big, and that that's, sounds correct, since Arch Linux has a Arch Linux B version. So Arch Linux is two gigabyte big, but when I burn the Arch Linux B plasma, it's 2.8 big. So it's crunched into 800 megabytes uh, size so the disk desktop is is quite big uh, it can do a lot of stuff I've been working on it uh, more than a week I think now I'll continue to work on it before I make tutorials about it let's wait till everything is installed and pause the video here okay everything finished so now we are going to reboot I did not forget to activate LightDM because that's one of the messages on uh, the website. If you do that, you end up in a broken system. So grub, looking for LightDM, launching LightDM, providing me with Plasma. So up here, we have Plasma, Arch font, things like that, Arch Linux, Eric is present, Eric logs in, and we have Plasma on our system. So this is the, the first look, the basic look, if you don't change anything, then this is the wallpaper, which is quite nice. And this is all we got. So two items up here. And this is your basic Arch Linux installation. There are no applications present. There is nothing here. It's an ideal way to figure out what's actually present in Plasma and what's not and then explore and install even more things. So I'll leave you at, usually, I, I mean, this is it for me. Um, we need to install a lot of more stuff because I see here already things that might need our attention, don't know. But um, basically we have now a Arch Linux Plasma installation and we can tweak it further. All right, cheers.